Well, re rechargeable batteries are great, but you know one of the big problems with rechargeable batteries is they discharge pretty quick, or if you get the nickel cadmium types, they're not as powerful and they don't discharge very quick. But nickel metal hydride do. Now I like these kind; they're a little more money, but. Um, you know, one of the things I've realized, though, is um, that a lot of times I go pick up something and the batteries are kind of crapped out in it because I had rechargeable batteries in it. So now I'm getting all low self-discharge rechargeable batteries, and that includes the batteries I'm going to use it in, like, uh, my power zapper. And by the way, I pretty much like this um, CC2 power zapper the best, to tell you the truth, but... Um, a lot of times I'll charge these batteries up, like these rechargeable. This is a 8.4 volt, 9 volt battery, and this is a 9.6 volt, 9 volt battery, if that makes sense to you, because there's no such thing as an exact 9 volt rechargeable battery. It's there in uh, 1.2 volt increments. But I decided to get some of these. These are uh, low, low self discharge 9 volt batteries. They're sitting at about you're supposed to be 8.2 volts around 8.4, 8.5. You're fully charged up. They'll work very fine in that. Um, for a flashlight like this, this mag light, what I have in here is uh, nickel cadmium batteries. And uh, let me get these out. There, it doesn't really matter where you need a lot of reserve power in an LED flashlight because you know it's got the LED bulb in it for one, so it lasts a lot longer. And uh, again, these are Tenergies. These are nickel cadmium. Um, you know, they're rechargeable. And you know, the thing is, these are very low self discharge. That's another thing. Um, so, you know, that's one of the most important considerations. Because, say, for instance, you got 500 cycles on a, on a rechargeable battery. Well, if the thing's sitting around and it's discharging every couple months, well, you know what I mean. It's it, first off, it's not reliable when you need to use the device or something because the battery's, you know, half discharged. Number two is, it, it's another cycle it's going through that you're recharging it for nothing, just just to keep it alive. You know, if it's low self discharge, it's not gonna. It's not going to be needed to recharge as much, which means that's less charge cycles, right? That's why I think in the long run, these are actually cheaper. So, um, I'm, vo I'm avoiding all batteries that are, are uh, rechargeable, that are normal rechargeables. I'm getting only the type of rechargeables that are low self-discharge. And, you know, it's really for reliability purposes and things, but it's, it's also because... You know, why recharge a battery just because it sits around? You know? I mean, it's like, why even have it that way, right? You know, it's just another charge cycle you wasted for, and it's a pain in the ass, too. That's the other thing. It's like a pain in the ass. I just, I just want to use the crap. I want it to work. I don't want it to work without thinking about it, so. That's my cat. <laughs> you heard that thunk. Mr. Goldie, up here. Hi, Goldie. <laughs> Jumping up. That's why I made all these shelves. You can see my other instruments and stuff. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so, just a little word to, you know, this is what I've been finding out by trial and error. You know, I got so many type of batteries like this that I wound up throwing them away after a while. That was before I had my Bedini Renaissance charger. I probably did would have lasted, but um, it's because, you know, I recharged them because they sat around for a few months. And I got some extras, but if you have recharge, you know, if you got to get the low self discharge rechargeables. You got to get the ones that are made to sit around for like a year, and they got a ninety percent or more charge on them. And like I think these are good for, yeah, see, ten years, right there. They'll still have like a good charge in them. That's what you want. And normally something else sits around it's like they're screwed up so you know that's that's another big disadvantage of rechargeable batteries but they don't tell you this crap I mean it's like you buy them and you find out you know trial and error so thus the video right and these aren't I was looking for this brand in 9 volt but these should be alright too because 
these, I don't know if these are the same type of, you know, material that's in them, like this is nickel cadmium. These stay charged a long time. I, I put these in the flashlight many months ago and it's very bright. It's no problem with it. And I charged them up on a Bedini charger, so. And I'm going to be using these in the zapper from now on, so that's another good thing. And uh, I like this zapper, probably, you know, I like all the zappers that Power Zapper makes, but and I'm probably going to discuss that a little bit on another video because, you know, for in a very practical side, probably the best off with that one, the CC2 for just mid-range, if you just don't want to spend too much money. But, um, and probably these kind of batteries would be the best deal.